have Velcro seams. <laughs> <laughs> they, may have, they may have mixed appeal. Um, and uh, there's also a great deal of speculation as to uh, you know, what the something else was. And I, I learned a lot. Um, <laughs> it, it, including things that I didn't think were physically possible. Uh, so, uh, we, let, let, let's go to the, the first D. As, as you probably learned by the internet, it's impossible to keep anything private these days. Um, the, the, the D stands for dual motor. So, Woo! so let's, let's bring up the site. So, there you can see you've got a, a motor in the front and a motor in the back. Uh, hence the, the dual nature of it. Uh, but you know uh, what would be greater than, than sort of seeing a, a slide is to, to show you the, the actual car. Yeah. So let's release the Titan. <laughs> Here we, here we have the, the, the chassis and the, the, the drivetrain of the dual motor Model S. Obviously got uh, the, the front drive unit, the rear drive unit. And the, the, the thing that makes this uh, unique and special and sort of better than uh, all wheel drive in the past is because you can dynamically shift the power from front to rear at the millisecond level. So you can very quickly adjust torque uh, more than is it's possible really with a, a mechanically linked system. So all all-wheel drive systems out there are just mechanically linked with, with the shaft. So it's, it's like the equivalent of being sort of analog, uh, whereas this is this is a, a digital system. So it, it, with a system like this, it's, it's uh, inherently able to achieve better road holding than a mechanically linked system that's just there with, with a, a single engine. And it, we're able to actually improve almost everything about the car, which is, it's a rare case that you're able to do something like that. Uh, the, it, so the, 